Good afternoon. Today I'm going to show uh, profit maximization uh, a little bit differently. I've calculated marginal costs as the change in total costs divided by the change in Q and I've written them down the side and then um, I've also committed uh, calculated marginal revenue which is a constant to since price equals marginal revenue for a perfectly competitive firm. Your textbook says where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, that's profit max. And it doesn't come out perfectly uh, on the graph because we'd need a calculus with limits. But uh, uh, we can see basically that profit max is somewhere between 24 units output and 28, so somewhere around 26. Um, the purpose of this video is to show why marginal cost and marginal revenue are the profit maximization points even though this table doesn't cons uh, completely show it. What I've done is I've drawn our uh, profit or our total revenue curve as a straight line and again I've shown our total cost curve as that funny shaped uh, what I call a ski slope line. The slope of this line here, since the price is 2, the slope of this curve is a constant 2. And I've taken two points here, and I've shown that if you go up here, 40, and over this way, 20, that the slope of this curve is 2. If I take this curve and I move it back to where it's tangent to my total cost curve, then this point here should also have a slope of 2. So I've drawn a line tangent to that line and I've come up with this point here being 10 units across and 12 up and this unit uh, being 30 units and 12 and then 52 um, units up and 12 across. So you can see that this changes 20 while this changes 40 so the slope at this point of course is 2 where those two points are equal, where the slopes of each curve is equal, is your profit max point. And I've shown that to be 28 on the graph. And so this is why economists say total revenue, uh, I'm sorry, uh, marginal revenue equals marginal cost is the profit maximization points because they're simply taking the rate of change of this and the rate of change of this and equating them. That concludes today's video. Tomorrow I'd like to actually uh, show this on the graph that's used in your textbook.